Anointing fall over me. Cover my head to toe. Give me the power to do your way. Oh Lord. Anointing fall over me. Chapter 12, verse 49. Look, chapter 12, verse 49. I want us to read it all together. Um, we may have different versions, but it has the same meaning. So, may we all stand and let's read 12. Chapter of Luke Verse 49 One, two, go I came to send fire on the earth And how I wish it were already kindled Lord Jesus, tonight Let your will be done Set us on this fire we yield ourselves to you. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Fire represents the presence of God. When the Lord met with Moses in Exodus chapter 3 to introduce himself, Moses saw fire. But when he went close, he had the voice. Of the one that comes in the midst of fire. On the day that he met with Israel on Mount Carmel. Elijah said let the God who answers when he comes you see fire. Let him be God. 
the day he made Israel on Mount Horeb. The Bible said in Exodus 19:18, there was smoke and flames of fire everywhere, and the Lord spoke out of the midst of the fire. Fire represents his presence. Anywhere he is, you will see fire. His chariots is called the chariot of fire. His aeroplane is called the chariot of fire. Jesus himself will come down in the midst. So, but when you are on fire for God, they are afraid, the kingdom of darkness is afraid of you. And they don't mess with you. And the world will believe you better. They will take you more serious. On Mount Carmel, Elijah made an altar call. If you belong to Baal, if Baal is God, come and signify. Nobody should raise hand. If Jehovah is God, if you believe him, raise hand. Nobody raise hand. But when he said, the fire of God, kiss the mountain. When the fire fell, he didn't make any altar call. All of them gave their lives. The Bible said that all of them fell down and without anybody saying to them, repeat after me. They, they, they knew what to say. So the fire of God makes things easy for you. The fire of God simplifies the task. God makes sure that your prayer gets to heaven and before you say amen, the answer has come down. Because say, the prayer goes like an incense. But smoke takes a while. And a strong wind can, can derail the smoke. But a strong wind will only expand the impact of the fire. If you want to stop fire, you don't want wind to come. Throw your wind, then the fire will take more places. When you set your prayers on fire, then the answer comes back with the same speed. That's the difference between people having their answers and others having to wait for years before their answers come. When your life is on fire, look at what James said in James chapter 5 verse 16b. He says, the fervent prayer, the fire prayer of a righteous man has great power and wonderful results. Not the prayer without fire. You could be righteous, but if your prayer doesn't have fire, no good results. No wonder why God will want them to put firewood and put things and raise his altar and put his sacrifice so that he can take it by fire. He, he comes and eats by fire. He travels by fire. He, his garment is fire. And if we are his sons and daughters, we need to be like our father. Jesus said, I came to set the earth on fire. And how I wish that fire is already kindled. Samson caught 300 foxes, animals, tied their tails and set, put fire. And they went and punished the camp of the enemies of the Lord. Animals. Look, when you are on fire, you can destroy altars. You can pull down strongholds. You, you can derobe Satan. You can disgrace his uh, juju priest. So even the queen of the coast will see you and run away from the water. Who wants to face fire? Somebody raise your hand and say, I'm ready to carry the fire of God. Jesus wanted his church to move forward. He says, I will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. He could have stopped at the Holy Ghost, but he knew you needed the fire. He knew you needed the fire. How do you get it? Number one, desire it. God will not give you what you're not hungry for. When you got born again, you came asking the Lord to save you. And you asked Jesus to come into your life. And he came in. God is a good God. God is sovereign, but he's gentle. Desire the baptism of fire. Number two. Desire to spend time in his presence. 
Because if you bring one stick that doesn't have fire and put it near one that has fire, after a while, that that other stick with that fire will catch fire. Take your time to be in his presence. You can ask for the songs. I mean, sometimes we used to have just CD full of the songs sung by the worship team. I don't know whether they're doing that for us this year. In that CD, what is just there are songs. All the songs will be singing. You just buy it and put it. And you have one man orchestra. You will be digging it in your house. Time will come when the anointing will come and you want to look for Lucifer and tear him into pieces. Holy boldness, holy anger, holy grace for war comes upon you. At that time, whatever you say will happen, will happen. Love to spend time in his presence. There are some songs that make no, mis no, make no meaning. You know. Why the children like the song? They say, oh, 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 oh. For me, it has no relevance to what I do today. I want something more rugged. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it hear it. That's all. Open it. One lady came last night. She said to me, I was in Houston. I was in that meeting where you opened the floodgates. I came to visit somebody. They told me you were having a meeting. I want I said to come down quickly. My luggage is still with Air France. I said, You want to go and tell them about the story? She started laughing. He said, I want to go and collect my luggage. I want to see God introduced to my generation. Many of them have never seen God. It is with fire that he introduces himself. He, when he introduced himself to Moses, it was fire. When he introduced himself to Israel at Mount Horeb, it was fire. He does not introduce himself with anything else. How can you, his child, introduce yourself? How can he introduce you to the world differently? The day he introduced Jesus, the Holy Ghost came, was on his head. There was something physical men could see. And God wanted them to see fire. 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 Somebody left our conference one day and went home and dropped the bag. Anybody she hugged fell down. And they said to him, where did you say you are coming from? She said, I didn't know, I don't know, I don't know what you are talking about. I don't know what's happening. I'm coming from Global Prayer Quake. And they said to her, then you are quaking everywhere. You, you need to go to your room, become normal before we can talk to you again. You cannot live here normal. You will carry live here soaked and baptized with fire from heaven. Anybody who calls you and says, Did you bring anything? Say yes. Say, What is it? Says, Touch my hand. And take some. And if, if they touch your hand and you have the faith to say anything, whatever you say will happen. When they grab your hand, you say, Receive grace. You, you see grace melting human being. If it's a sick person, you say, Be healed. You see the person healed. On the last day of the feast, John 7, the Bible said Jesus lifted his voice and he said, is anybody thirsty? He said, come, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. This is the last night of the feast. 
You can't go dry. You cannot go empty. That's why you need to cry to the Lord and say, set me on fire. Set me on the holy fire. Set me on fire. When you're on fire, they can't stop you. Isaiah, my son, talked about going to Kenya. And then one man was oppressing him. And then they let him out of the bag a little bit. And the, uh, 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 the whole place exploded. And then all the doors opened. It's not possible to hold someone like that. From tonight, nobody will put you in the pocket. Yeah. Nobody will put you in a bag. Yeah. Nobody will cover you with wrapper. Yeah. <laughs> if, they, if they try it, fire will burn them. Can't anymore. Can't. Can't. It's impossible. It's impossible. Father, tonight, hear us from heaven. Tear the floodgates. Take them out of the way. Send the rain and send the fire. 120 men in the upper room they changed the whole world we are more than 120 Pastor Charles said my passion for Africa my passion for Africa there are 54 nations in Africa that are independent nations but there are still 8 islands that are not yet independent there are still colonial islands to Europe. I'm sure you don't know that. I'm sure you don't know there are eight African nations that are still serve Europe as colonial masters. They don't have independence yet. Yes. Africa, my passion. You know, when you are on fire, you can't... You, you cannot be limited. If they try hard, they reduce your speed, your speed, but they cannot, they cannot reduce your impact. You burn, you smolder through under. Before they know it, smoke is coming from all every side. It's impossible to tie, to tie somebody on fire. Eh, KM Gugu, is it possible? How are you going to do it? Shall we rise to pray? Today is the last day of this conference. Jesus said from the time of the John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violence take it by force. You will go for it and you will collect it. Somebody say, my father, my father. My father, my father. The chariots of Israel. And his horsemen is my God. Hey, baptize me with your fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My father, my father, the chariots of Israel and his horsemen is my God. That's what Elisha did.
Let that fire fresh from above me also come on you. In, 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 the, in the multiplication of seven. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't know whether you can. Man of God, receive the anointing, receive the grace, receive the fire of God. And the devil socket. I can't lay hand on everybody, you know that. Send the Gabriel. Receive. Can you hold them back, please? Ray Candela Gabriel Sotel Brandy. Let the hand of the Lord reach you and bring you total restoration. One, two, three, total restoration. Karabababasa. Grandelege Bosoko. Great presence in the name of Jesus. Depression in the name of Jesus. Rabababakosuka. Grandelege Bosoko. Depression. Fire. Keep the play away from me.
glorious God. Beautiful King. Mm. Excellent, Excellent God. I bow before your throne. Glorious God. Beautiful King. Excellent. Say glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before you.